Uh, Aurora Uplink says, have faith. Uh, Iger is behind Favreau and Lucas. I suspect uh, he wants Disney to have money and he knows the fans want them. Mandalorian season four is going to change everything. It's going to be better than season one. Eh. I'm not holding my breath. Aurora I Uplinks. absolutely will not hold my breath on that one. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> eh. And, and Iger, Iger is the king of wokeness. And Favreau, mm. like the writing's on the wall, man. He is on his way out. Yeah. And, like. Like, I don't even know why he'd even want to even still be there right now at all um, with the mess that they're in. Uh, like, if I was in his shoes, I'd be like, look, here's here's the scripts I wrote for season four. You know, you guys deal with it. Uh, you jacked all my plans up. Mm. Everything I was doing, people were on board. People were coming in. Um, you know, I, I don't know if you heard about the... Um, the rumors of the uh, basically Favreau was given a choice that they weren't going to be bringing Luke in at all anymore. And so if Grogu was staying with Luke, they lose Grogu. What? And so, so it's either if, if Grogu's going to stay with Luke, we're not using Luke anymore moving forward at all. Um, so if he stays with him, you lose Grogu, and that sounds so, like something Kathleen Kennedy would do. Yep. So they forced, so they forced him back in there with those episodes in in uh, Book of Boba Fett to bring Grogu back to Mando. That was the only reason those were in there, so that they could get Grogu back, so they wouldn't lose him as well. Um, since they weren't, since they didn't want them using Luke at all. And where did you hear this from? Uh. WDW Pro, we actually dropped a video oh, okay. on this um, like a day and a half ago, I think. Um, but yeah, so, and, and it makes sense because even if you watch season three, like Mando says, like, uh, mm. he didn't learn that from me or, you know, like three separate times. Mm. Yeah, Luke yeah. is never even mentioned. Not even yeah. slightly. Mentioned. Well, not even Bo Bo Katan. Has Bo Katan ever come into contact with Luke or not? Yeah, she was there on the bridge when he when he broke in at the end of Mando season two. So then, so then, why when she's talking to Grogu about the Jedi, why didn't she mention anything to do? With, You're completely right. That yeah. doesn't make any sense. Exactly. She was there. Why See, wouldn't she reference it? Yeah. Why wouldn't she go? I was. We worked with the Jedi once, like Luke. The guy who was just training you. Oh my fucking god. Yeah. So so when Pro was telling us. <laughs> Uh, and and we know where he got where he got this information from, and which obviously I can't say publicly here, but it's somebody who's directly involved. And uh, and when he was telling us this, it started making sense, just like what you brought up. Bo Katan was there. All this stuff was mentioned, reference, no mention of Luke Skywalker at all, <laughs> or or even <laughs> that there's even a Jedi out there somewhere. Like nothing, and uh, I was like, "Holy shit!" Now it, it's like starting to make sense. Looking back on season three, um, mm. uh, they want to put focus on their creations. Uh, Ahsoka, gotta get yeah. Ahsoka out there. Well, Filoni is now in a creative executive role there, and he's pushing all his characters, all of them. That's why the whole uh. Rebels crew's coming back. They're basically cherry picking heir to the Empire, and that's going to be the Ahsoka series, except without Luke, Han, and Leia. It's going to be the Rebels crew, Ahsoka, and all the animated characters brought into live action. Um, he's pretty much got the creative control aspect of stuff. I mean, he's it, he's he's pretty much Favreau's boss um, yeah. at, at this point. So, uh, and Phony Filoni, I'm not a big fan of. It all and yeah, so, I tried warning people way back when about him. Yeah. I don't like him. I don't like him. And and so it is just it is gonna be a huger mess. So I appreciate Aurora Uplink's um hopefulness, and I'm not trying to pee in his Cheerios, but man, I'm telling you, this this thing is gonna get even worse. It's just gonna get worse. It is not gonna get better with season four. And I would almost bet my entire yearly salary on it at this point. Especially after yeah, all I mean, the stuff we've been hearing. Well, it's, it's not just 
it's not just that. It's in conjunction with what we just witnessed with season three as well. I mean, yeah. It was just an absolute shit show. Yep. You know, I mean, it's not like it's not like they didn't just, you know, bin off those clones instantly for no, literally no reason. They went nowhere. Like, just, I don't yep. know. Oh, that makes so much sense. About then, you can't mention Luke or anything like that. That makes yep. so much sense. Can I, and, can, I, can I make a point real quick? And you, I mean, Nick, you're kind of the Star Wars expert here at the moment. Um, why did we destroy the Black Saber? Something that was generation, generationally worshipped? I, 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 I mean, I don't, I don't get that. Right? No clue. And, and, and why did we wait? Right until the very end of the show to have baby Grogu go like full Jedi mode and like you know deflect all. Uh, did he really go full Jedi though? I mean, he he, 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 he he did what he already did in a previous season, stopping yeah. the flames, and then he did some jumping around, <clears throat> you know, and some right, moving but, some stuff. But I'm just what I'm just saying is like there's obviously opportunity for the character to get to have gotten. More oh yeah, he had zero growth. There. Yeah, and so I'm, I'm just, growth. I'm like, I'm just, I'm frustrated. I mean, you, you, there's two pieces of very vital character stuff there. One is the black saber for Bo Katan, and the other is, you know, the advancement of the dead Jedi powers with Grogu. And neither of them get service. And at the very end, much like throwing the lightsaber over your shoulder, you know, when you when you meet Ray, um, yeah. Uh -huh. You just disrespect all that lore and all that opportunity. It just, it's, I, again, I, the way it ended and I, you know, now that I'd seen it, cause I, you know, I was a, about, you know, half a day behind you guys and watching it. I just, I'm still baffled by the even bothered yeah. with season three at all. So, so here, here's my just quick uh, speculation on that culture. So the dark saber was created under, George Lucas, when George Lucas was still the right. the owner of, of Lucasfilm. So I think anytime they use anything, and again, this is speculation, I, I think he gets royalties for any of the stuff that was created under his name. I would not be surprised if if just because they were using it, they were having to give it, give him some money since that was created under when he was in control. So they could destroy it and make their own creation of the dark saber. It, you know, and, and as and as reasonable as that sounds, and I've heard that about multiple things when it comes to this, I still I still don't understand. Disney has plenty of money. Um, you know, they've already released black saber toys and various versions and things like that. So oh, it, it, look, it, look it at the look at the Razor Crest, the the yes. Haslab. Came out with the with the Razor Crest, and then they destroyed right. it before they yeah. even shipped it out to the people that oh pre-ordered it. It's like, what are you guys doing? I'm telling you, they don't yeah. know what the f they're doing over there. They don't know it's, how to how to run Star Wars. Yeah, well, it's I becoming mean, more and more that, painfully obvious every day. Yeah, but it, 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 and it's beyond the it's beyond the diminishing returns, right, Nick? I mean. You know, the diminishing returns of the films were one thing, but as you watch just viewership of all these Star Wars shows have fallen off a cliff, I think. Oh, yeah. Tom, you guys, Tom, you guys did a video on this, like, what, a, two weeks ago with, you know, how Mandalorian and all the other series were just kind of falling off on Disney+. Plus. Yeah, yeah. in that uh, report, Andre had pretty much speculated, and I agreed with him at the time, that uh, it sure, sure did feel like Favreau was out of the door when he did a oh. super cut of that clip from uh, Celebration where Kathleen Kennedy was talking about the future of Star Wars and Jon Favreau only came up once. Yeah. Otherwise, it was all yeah. Dave, 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 Dave. But Favreau basically yeah. saved Dave, Star Wars Dave. for Lucasfilm. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, apparently they don't want what he was creating. <laughs> and so he has literally been put on a side burner and, and Filoni is pretty much the one pulling all the strings with these shows. That's why season three felt so different than the first two seasons. You know, if you look at seasons one and two, there was a little bit more of serious tone with some sort of cringe comedic elements kind of sprinkled in there. Season three is like a freaking cartoon. Yeah. 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 yeah and that's, nah, that was my point earlier about it. Just Yeah, that was my point earlier about it being childish. 
I mean, you went from the the very first episode where like there was dismemberment and everything else of the very yeah. first season, and you get to Blast and Jawas like, disintegrating yeah. them, and, and and now we have play school Star Wars is what we've got. You yeah, know, we've got look, tiny tykes freaking Star Wars. Pardon my French, but I'm just like, yeah, yeah. Don't. It, 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 Filoni is is pretty much running the show at this point, even well, though Favreau's explains- name's on it, but. That explains a lot, though, doesn't it, Nick? Why we all of a sudden have the inf- infantilization of um, yeah of the show? Because <laughs> oh. you know he's not evil of growth. He creates Ahsoka, and we get that that creation and everything. Even though Ahsoka was supposed to have died, and and yeah, I, I'm I have zero zero interest in the Ahsoka show. I have zero interest in the next uh, the next uh, <laughs> season of. Mandalorian, if it ever comes back, I don't care about the film. I, I, you know, I don't want, I don't want to see, you know, Mary Ray Palpatine in in, in Star Wars Ten. I mean, no. I'm done with Star Wars. I, I'm gonna mm. keep saying it. Star Wars is dead. Yeah. 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 We're of course gonna watch it. I, I'm, I'm like at this point in time, I'm more interested and curious on on how bad they're gonna f everything up. You know, yeah. I want to. I want to see what they're doing, and I just want to freaking just. If it's that bad, I'm gonna have fun bashing on it. Yeah, like, I'm gonna I agree. Get enjoyment, watch watching it burn to the ground and seeing. It's like hate, hate watching like Batwoman and stuff. It was the same yeah, kind of... exactly. Um, yeah. and 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 I hope that they lose so much <laughs> money that they have no other choice but to sell Star Wars, and then maybe at that point in time we'll get somebody competent enough to run it and give us decent Star Wars content. Mm. But I agree. until then, I'm, I'm going to just be eating my popcorn uh, and having fun watching it burn it to the ground. Agreed. Agreed. The sad part is, is they, they're they destroying these IPs for any future sale anyway, right? Like, who's yeah. going to want them? So they're basically yeah. just going to burn down with them in the process of, you know, they're going to, like, just die yeah. with it. Yeah, no, you're completely right. You are one hundred percent right. They mm. they they nerf any future prospects for a franchise when they when they milk it to an inch of its life, but also in terrible fashion at the same time because people are just like the market swamped with this and it's shit. I'm so disinterested. I'm not bothered anymore. It would who take would pay a monumental what they paid, change. Who would pay what they paid George for at this point in time? At that point, they had the original cast on board it. to come back. What do you have to offer now? It's not worth not- it. The, the franchise itself can't possibly be valued that high now. Well, no, no, and no that's way. what they told George back then, and that was the fucking problem. Excuse my French, but that was the effing problem with, from the start with Star Wars. I love Star Wars. A lot of people love Star Wars. But guess what? The money's in the toys. Yeah. Mm. And unless you have that. toys that people want to buy... Star Wars ain't worth diddly squat. And middle-aged men and boys buy toys, not little girls. Yeah, <laughs> That's the thing. Because yeah, and, yeah. and, when George was selling it to Disney, he said, I want the Pixar deal. Mm. And yeah. Bob and the Money Men come back to him and said, sorry, George, it's not worth the Pixar deal. And he said, why not? And they said, because mm. you have nothing in production. You haven't produced a movie in 10 years. You have nothing in pre-production. And he's like, well, I got this animated movie. And he, and nobody gives a shit about that animated movie, George. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. All they care about is Star Wars and Indiana Jones. And guess what? You've got neither on, on deck. So okay. what you need to yeah. do for us is you need to get something going. So what George did is he went out. He got everybody from the original trilogy to sign on, including Harrison Ford, under the assumption that he was going to get another Indiana Jones film. And that's how this happened, and that's how they got the four point oh five billion dollars for George. And George had. never told them that he was selling it to Disney. He never told them. He got them to sign on under contract <sighs> to help dick. him get <laughs> more money when he sold to Disney. So, you know, George Lucas, as much as I love him, is the creator of Star Wars. He's kind of a a, a piece of shit, also. Uh, so, well, net, net well, never makes a business relationship net, with George. Yes, business and friendship, right? That's that's okay. what they did there. Okay, yeah. but but see, this is where people don't don't like look deeper into these numbers. Yes, they, they, Disney spent four billion dollars. Then they promptly spent 
even more money to make films, but at the same time, they built even they 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 spent even more money, two point seven billion dollars to build two Star Wars lands, right, in two different yeah. theme park locations, and and the hotel they built that <laughs> hotel. Yeah, so yeah. You're, you 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 spent they spent nearly seven billion dollars. In fact, if you add in the cost if you add the movies, it's the probably films, more like ten. It's closer the to ten. The only thing they ever made, and the only thing they ever made any money on was the Force Awakens. Really, at the end of the day, yeah, because. Yeah. Everything else costs so exorbitantly much. They, mm. you know, and they have such diminishing returns that they're still underwater with Star Wars. And they haven't recovered their purchase price, let alone, you know, the, the, the expense for building those theme park plans. They're not selling the new merch. Nobody buys the freaking new merch outside of well, right. Rogu. Yeah. Well, ahead. Rise of Palpatine <clears throat> is still shooting, and they're never going to make a profit on that, for one. And like, like you said, the rest of them. <laughs> The movies, not, none of them made a profit. Maybe Rogue One. The Last Jedi barely squeaked out a profit, perhaps. But we know these movies cost a lot more than they're telling us now. We're learning that. Oh, I don't yeah. know if you saw oh, this article God. recently, Nate, from... Uh, they were talking about how the Jurassic World movies cost Double. a hell of a lot Three more times. than what you think. Well, and that's why I, I said, I, somebody I, come and tell me again that Avatar didn't cost over $400 million to make. Please. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I did a video. We, on that. It, was, see, we, it was crazy, absolutely crazy. But see, D Disney, Disney is in the process of going through audits of all their internal books for all their studios. You don't think mm. that there that that is going to be sought by an investor in the near future, wanting to know yeah, what it, these things actually? Oh, it'll cost. come out. It'll come out now. Yeah, it's a publicly traded sure. company. There's no way they can yeah. keep it secret. Yeah, it, it, it well, they keep out. a lot of things. Yeah, they keep a lot of things <laughs> secret, but. What I love about the UK is because when you do business over there in the film industry, and Nate, you yeah. know this. Well, this is how the Jurassic World stuff. Yeah, yeah that, that's how the Jurassic World stuff. the Jurassic World stuff came out. That's literally how, because the publicly traded, you know, uh, companies, company house have to have all the records there. It's there publicly available because this, especially because of the subsidies from the taxpayer as well. So it all has to be transparent. 